Patients are now being tested for coronavirus at two hospitals in the Triangle. Testing started at Duke Hospital today and it's been going on for the last couple of days at UNC Medical Center. Both hospitals have what they are calling drive up testing sites. CBS 17's Crystal Price is at UNC Medical Center and Crystal, can just anyone drive up and get tested? Well, right now here at UNC, the testing is only for patients of UNC healthcare facilities. But before they can get tested, they need to be screened by their doctor first. It's been a busy couple of days for these employees at UNC Medical Center. They've been putting in a lot of long hours. Here you see they have multiple stations set up where patients can come and get tested for COVID-19, where they can drive up and get swabbed. We bring them over to our tent where we collect a specimen and send it to our lab at UNC to analyze. The patients will then wait to find out if they tested positive for COVID-19, a strain of the coronavirus. It's a test that was actually created by experts here at UNC. We're testing anywhere between 50 to 100 people a day right now. Right now, they say the test is only available to patients of UNC hospitals and clinics who have been screened by their doctor and meet the criteria for testing. That criteria includes a fever, cough, shortness of breath, or if they've been in contact with someone who has tested positive for the coronavirus. UNC anticipates the number of people needing testing to grow, and they are hoping to test as many as 300 people per day by the end of the week. We're here to meet the demands of the public as best as we can. Over at Duke, they started a drive-up testing approach for coronavirus as well, but they are only offering this to patients who have received a prescription from a telehealth appointment to get tested. While testing isn't available to the public there yet, they are hoping to expand this very soon. And again, if you feel you meet the criteria to get tested, you should call your doctor and get screened. Reporting live in Chapel Hill, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News.